All right, y'all. So looking at this first equation, we're going to go ahead and graph this real quick. Now we've got x squared. Everything's positive in front. So I know this thing's opening upward, y'all. So let's go ahead and start pulling things out. The vertex is simply HK. So I can just pull the vertex out right now. So if you look up here at the top, HK, when you pull it out, you just change the sign. So if it's X minus 10, then 10 is my H value. If it's X plus 10, negative 10 is my H value. And it's the same with the K, which is just the Y value of the vertex. You just change the sign when you pull it out, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead, change the sign of these as I pull them out. So my vertex is going to be at negative 2, 3. There's my vertex now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by graphing that. So at negative 2, 3, I'm right here, y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead and start paying attention to my P value. All right, so 4P is equal to the number in front of the unsquared side of the equation. So I've got 10 is equal to 4P. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for P so I can find my focus. So I take my 4 and divide it into my 10, and I get 2.5, y'all. So 2.5 is the distance to my focus. Now I know this thing opens upward, so therefore I know my focus has to be up 2.5 units because the parabola wraps around the focus. If you heard that uptight fella earlier, he's saying that. So I'm going to go up three units. Oh, no, I'm sorry, two and a half units. And there is my focus. So I got my vertex here. My focus is up two and a half units. And down two and a half units from here is my directrix which honestly doesn't do much of anything. It just sits a line on the other side of the vertex from the focus. The directrix is kind of useless. The focus is very useful. We'll get to that in a little while. All right, so I've got my p-value. Let me find my focus. I should probably write the coordinates for my focus. So my coordinates for my focus, since I'm still at negative 2 over, it's going to be negative two, and then I went up two and a half units from my vertex, which was at a height of three. So I'm going up two and a half units. Well, that gives me a height of 5.5. There is the coordinates for my focus. Now, let's see how fat our parabola is. To, you, to do that, we already have the answer, y'all. It's right here is the focal width of 10. Because 4P is the focal width. So I'm going to go to my focus, and the parabola is going to be 10 units all the way across. So in other words, 5 units to the right of the focus, 5 units to the left of the focus, and I will have the width of my parabola. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the left, and there, y'all, is the width of my parabola. This is a big hog of a parabola. Man, if this were a cow, I would be a rich, rich Texan, y'all, because I would have a big heifer. All right. There's the first example. Let's do the other one a lot faster. The next example, we've got y squared this time, but I got this one half in the wrong place. I want it in front of the unsquared side. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply each side of the equation by 2, and that would cancel one half over here and give me a 2 in front of this side. Remember, 4P is in front of the unsquared side. So I want to move any coefficients over here onto the unsquared side. 
So now that I have this, I can easily identify that my vertex is at three, negative two, because I pull, as I pull these out, I change the sign, okay? And then I go ahead, I'm gonna stop by graphing that, and I know that this thing is opening to the right because I have y squared and everything is positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph three, negative two, there is my vertex. Now my focus this time, I've got four P equals two, which means P is a tiny little one half, y'all. Dividing by four on each side, I get one half. So I'm going one half of a unit to the right is my focus. And then my vertex I already have, and my directrix would just be one half of a unit to the left. There is my focus and directrix. Now, as far as drawing the proper width, I'm just gonna use my focal width of two. So I am going one unit above the focus, one unit below the focus, and my parabola would look like that. Hey, I'm done with you with those examples. Now you get into some heavy algebra. We'll see you in a minute.